Hey, good Wednesday morning, my friends. Wednesday, yes, correct. This is M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. That uh, holiday kind of throws you all off, doesn't it? I remember over the years, uh, how many seven-day forecasts I've messed up the labeling on on television after a, a Monday holiday. I'm just all off, and then I rebuild it. Well. That's another story for another time. Let's get to some weather. We have some weather. The remnants of what used to be subtropical storm Alberto. Some are asking, what does that mean? It means that it's got tropical characteristics, but it also has some non-tropical characteristics. Now it's just a circulation left over, but the key word is tropical. <clears throat> Excuse me. In this, the, in that tropical means it's got a lot of moisture in the air. We'll feel the humidity go up and if that squeezes out in a thunderstorm you can get some heavy rainfall. The other thing this circulation does is it increases our shear. Hey good morning Alto, nice to see you this weekend. Uh, it increases our shear, the circulation, and so isolated tornadoes are common uh, with these tropical systems as they move into the Great Lakes. They're short-lived ones, uh, a minute or two, and they're hard to see because they're rain-wrapped. So sometimes you get um, damage that you didn't really expect because it was raining so heavily at the time. So let's get to it. If you have any questions, there were a couple of questions there. I saw one, something about uh, hail. Uh, would be Wind would be... Uh, isolated wind gusts would be more common with this kind of thing because it's so warm aloft, it's tough to make hail. Watching from Dallas, Fort Worth. All right, so here is our current precipitation. Here's the circulation from Alberto. So there's really not a whole lot going on. I think it's going to be slower than most things, most folks think. I'll spit it out just yet. School field day in Nuevo. Do you think it's going to be a washout? No, I don't. Not today. Early. We got a field day also here in Reese. We get to go to the Bertrand Wilderness place and see all the wild animals. Here is the radar forecast. We are at noon. Okay, so just starting to get showery on the far southwest part of the state. Okay, and then we're at 3 p.m. this afternoon, and this is when you get these spiral bands. That's where the isolated thunderstorms have enough circulation to produce an isolated quick uh, tornado. They're low end, F0, F1, but nonetheless, we want to warn you that those are possible. And as we go into the evening hours, then you see the rains starting to pick up in coverage, and we are at 11 o'clock. And then here's a second wave of rainfall moving across the area. So that will bring us rain. After school Girl Scout picnic and girls plans. Should we make indoor plans? After school, yes, I probably would do that. Because the morning and early afternoon looks dry. But you're running out of time if you wait until late afternoon. Kentucky. Where in Kentucky? Okay, now here's the computer model. Um, and we're at we're at this evening. Okay, 8 o'clock this evening. And right there, that's the heavier rain in this one. One thing I want to emphasize is that this the most of the area is going to have about a half inch to an inch of rain. It's going to be a good rain. It's a nutrient-laden rain is what I've found when they come from tropical systems. And then there will be a streak somewhere through here that gets an inch or two. Hey, good morning, Car Terry Carmichael. Nice to see you weighing in. So we're into this evening now. And this is overnight. Another, And that's what I would... That's what I would uh, call it, is it bursts of thunderstorms. Traverse City, lots of folks traveling from Lansing to Traverse City. Traverse City, you're going to get into it. No, it's back up here. I would say you're going to get into it sometime in the afternoon. Could be as 
early as early afternoon, but with scattered thunderstorms. But the main brunt is late afternoon and overnight tonight. And then as we go through Friday, now this is something new that both models are showing me is a little area of rain in southern Michigan Friday afternoon and evening. And we cool off some on a northeast wind, and we'll be back down to comfortable conditions by the time we get to the weekend. Sterling Hearts, Bill Hobart, you get uh, off and on bursts of showers and thunderstorms starting sometime this afternoon, and you get it just like everybody else. This is a pretty well an easy uh, forecast because everybody gets the rain. It's just... Uh, how much? Do you know what areas could produce a tornado? Typically, it's the northeast quadrant. And again, it would be isolated. It would be quick. It would be rain-wrapped because it would be in a thunderstorm, so you wouldn't really see it. Amanda Bullock in Harbor Beach, you'd be in the same thing as everyone else. Now, again, this model is indicating that the heaviest rains occur on the west side of the state and then a half inch to inch but anywhere could see over an inch what is saturday looking like 65th saturday if sister's birthday party plan saturday looks good everywhere uh we have a fifth birthday party planned for a granddaughter and uh so saturday looks great because the humidity is going to go down we're also going to be uh, a lot cooler too here's the storm prediction center forecast for today and you can see they have this area shaped around the remnants of Alberto. And this is the tornado forecast. 2% chance. A lot of folks make fun of us for forecasting something 2%. But that means it's high enough chance that you have to think about it at least. And then here is the damaging wind forecast. And then the hail forecast. So someone talked about hail and in this tropical situation it's so warm that you don't get much hail. Someone's camping at Interlock on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Marley, Marley, do you know what inter do you know where interlocking is? Say hi to everybody. <laughs> okay, so that's what we got going on today in between work. <laughs> yeah, see? All right. You gotta get ready for the go get ready for the field trip, right? Where are we going? <laughs> Whatever that meant. Okay, we're going back to the weather maps, folks. All right, so no hail. So here's what we have in a summary today. We have the showers and thunderstorms. We will see a solid half inch to inch rain with some spots inch to two inches. And it looks like it's over by Friday and the weekend does look good. I'm going to sign off now. We got to get ready to go see some wild animals.